Good morning guys, this is Wizard. I'm going to show you guys real quick the second space base that I built on Minecraft. Um, first of all I have this uh, wireless pocket computer here with uh, connect to the whole base so I can uh, turn on the lights, turn off the lights, turn on the reactor, turn off the reactor, shoot la shooting lasers, stuff like that. Uh, the, the whole base is have uh, a main section that you guys are seeing over here, have a control tower on the upper part, a nuclear core on the bottom part, have some uh, solar powers on the on the corridors and uh, four other sections connect to the same throw section. So first of all the power. The power comes from the solar panels over there on daytime, on the night time like now it's going to come from the nuclear power. Every time you, you cycle the lights here, like if you choose uh, to turn the lights off, you guys can see that the base is going to get real dark. But uh, every time you cycle the lights or anything that you select on the remote control, if it's night time, it's, the nuclear reactor is going automatically get on, and in, if it's daytime, it's going to get off. So here is the greenhouse, let's turn on the lights. If you turn on the lights on the greenhouse, you're gonna have some green cool lights over here to give a green greenhouse effect. And you can plant stuff here like carrots and stuff. So this is the food source of the, the star base. The greenhouse. We have some coats to sit over here. To see the greenhouse. Okay. Uh, the second room I'm going to show you guys is the nuclear core. So again the nuclear reactor is going to get automatically on on the night times like now and also you can manually shoot shut down like this or turn on like this with a remote control let me switch to let me switch to game mode survival game mode zero okay So all the, f uh, the the rooms are sealed, except for this one, I ha still have to seal this. I'm going to leave a battery for, for the time now. But uh, everything else is ready, the oxygen systems. So this is the control tower, it's the, on the up part, over here. On the control tower I have uh, two remote control interfaces on two separate computers. This one is um, controlling the lights in the nuclear reactor and this one is controlling the lasers. The lasers are dispensers with errors and um, custom sounds from my resource pack. So if we press over here, it's going to get a single blast or two blasts at most. If you look here, it's gonna give a barrage. The sound gets real loud because we are just under the, uh, just above the dispensers. Also here you can check the ammo from the four cannons, laser cannons. Here I have my old oxygen API. It's monitoring the oxygen from the entire base. So if I, for example, disable the CO here on the control tower, and uh, if you wait a, a moment, you guys can see that it's off. So it's monitoring the entire base, the, the four sections and the, the three rooms. So this is the control tower. Uh, let me show you guys how it. Uh, ah, later. I'm going to show you guys later. This. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, the place you guys sleep, the living quarters, and the entertainment room, and the place you can eat, the nourishment area. Here I have the web displays mode, so you can uh, access the internet from here. Uh, here I have stuff from Pneumatic Craft to make some drones and uh, stuff to have fun. Here is a place to eat with uh, steak bars and stuff like that and uh, extra uh, astronaut food. <laughs> All the food comes in bars after you cook on the, the furnace. For example, if you put a... Uh, let me do it real quick. If you put uh, a meat here and, to, and you will cook and, and to give you a, a bar like this one, but uh, a meat one. Uh, also have space cook, space cakes and uh, presents over there, stuff to get. So you guys can see, space food, okay. And here is the place you can go we sleep. And here we have a bathroom with a toilet. <laughs> but if you, this toilet's a trap, it's a surprise. I'm not going to show you guys what it does. 
guys going to download this map later and get fun with this by yourselves. Uh, also, you can listen music over here. Custom uh, music. Uh, not this one. This one's not custom. Okay, this one. Okay. So you can uh, watch the TV and videos from YouTube. Let me show you guys a uh, daytime. Daytime. Okay, now we are daytime. You guys can see that it's much more illuminated, and also the nuclear reactor should be off now. Even so, we have energy from the solar panels. This is the, the corridors I made with the carpenter's block. Here we have the advanced genetic modes. So here we can clone stuff <laughs> yeah, with these machines over here. If you press here, teach me. It's going to teach you how to cl make a clone. Th this guy here over here is a clone from this one. I just made it on the last video. Uh, so uh, here uh, you, you, you can put your genes, this is a common villager gene, this is a moon villager uh, gene, this guy is a moon villager and you have the, all the instructions uh, you need to make this work uh, real quick. Also here I have the special computer that creates and removes uh, blocks but uh, on survivor mode you cannot interact with the computer only on creative mode. Uh, but it's still very cool to make some adventures and uh, stuff like that. Here I have a medical bay, so you can have autopsies on your aliens and you al can also sleep here. I have some drugs here that are actually potions with uh, different textures. Here I have a chemistry lab that's going to, <coughs> it's going to transform water into gasoline to use on the rockets and also oxygen using the new galactic craft machines over here I have a, a computer that will teach you how to do this here too so this is the science section guys medical genetics and chemistry now I'm going to show you guys the launching area this is the place you put the rocket and you can go to another planet. Uh, here's the place I told you guys you can uh, learn how to build systems over here, like those that system that I built over there. Here I have a system that with uh, another of those command computers. You guys can see you cannot operate this in in survival mode. Uh, that 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 glass over here is closing and sealing this room, so it's sealed. There you go. And if you open over here. It's going to open. You can go ahead and take your rocket in and take off. And it's not more seated anymore because there's more, no more, not more air. Here you can reload the the rocket if you need it. Let me close this again. And here we have a airlock. You can uh, go out of the base. You guys can see the base spinning. Uh, let's try to turn off the lights from here. Let's see what happens. Now let's put night time. Okay, so you guys can see that it's all dark. The entire base is turned off. But oh, oh, I'm floating away. I have to turn back to God mode. Uh, because if you go out on the survivor mode and if you, you, you go float away <laughs> because there's no gravity and you can go really really far from the base so be careful and now I'm going to show you guys the red lights it's very cool so you guys can see slowly all the base is going to get red the base is on red alert and you can also using a noisy alert so if the base is under attack you guys can go ahead and uh, launching a laser barrage let's see 
The sound from the dispenser have a pretty specific radius, so if you go like one or two blocks away, the sound is going to... You guys can see? Oh, look, there you go, it's very small radius, but even so, you guys can see the laser is coming out of the four corners of the base, and I think this is very cool, creates a very cool effect that uh, you cannot expect from Minecraft, and still it's possible to do. So there you go guys, a full functional base with a lot of stuff to do and see. Let's go back to the regular lights, very slowly, and now let's go back inside the base again. You guys can see on the regular lights. Now I'm going to show you guys the last uh, of the, the rooms real quick, I don't want this video to get real uh, long, I don't want long videos, so I'm going to show you guys the only the major stuff and then you guys can download this map and play for yourselves and have some fun with your friends. So this is the base on red alert from the inside, it looks really neat, the moon spinning, I really like the effect, so let's see the stargate now, real quick. I'm going to. This is the Stargate room. That's a really good place, a really nice way to, to travel. But I'm having a very small bug with the textures, texture of the frame of the Stargate with the color red light mode. I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to fix that sometime. Uh, I forget to. This one. So, yeah, you go here and you can choose a place to go. Bear in mind we are using also the four space mode, so we have Mercury, Venus, Io, Callisto, Europe and uh, Pluto. And uh, still we have to add the other address here. <coughs> I'm going to release this as an adventure mode later, a uh, pack later, so you guys can make some dungeons and stuff like that. But for now let's try to call Venus. <laughs> Okay, while this uh, Stargate is called Venus, this is the energy from the Stargate. This is just a uh, star probe. Just for the correct. The Stargate is called. Okay, so the Stargate is connected to Venus, but I'm not going to go to Venus just now. I'm going to, just before that, I'm going to show you guys the control tower on the red alert and then I'm going to finish the video on Venus let's see here ba -ba 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 -ba. control tower okay. this is the control tower on the red alert it's real cool you guys can see the oxygen everything working you guys can see the base come on tower okay Oops, what's that? That's not work. That's not using anymore. That was a daylight sensor, but now I, I managed to do a program that uh, don't need the, the daylight sensor. The program itself detects night or day like this, so we don't need the, the, the detector. Okay, let's go back to the Stargate now. Let me think. I show you guys the nuclear reactor, the greenhouse, the four sections. Okay, so I think I, I covered the whole base. Uh, the project now is to do this, is to build uh, stuff on the planets, on the Mars, on Venus, and build space stations and space bases and, and connect all this to a whole uh, federation or something like that, you know? This is the, the stuff. So now we're going to Venus, boom, we are on Venus. Just like that. Yeah? Much more faster and uh, convenient than a rocket. And we can go ahead and put another terminal on Venus, so we can uh, automatically call back the space base. I'm not going to terminate the... If you click here, you're going to terminate the connection, then you need to dial again. But I'm not going to finish, because uh, I'm not going to show you guys Venus. Just so you guys can see that you can go to all the, all the parts of the solar system from here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.